Oh no, it happened again. You forgot to get your loved one one of these. No worries. If you stick around, I'll show you how you can make your very own digital Valentine's Day card. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have a blank VS Code window open. So if you open up your extensions, this tutorial will use Code Swing. If you don't have it enabled, just search for it and, and install it. And then once you have it installed, go to View, Command Palette, and we'll search for New Scratch Swing. And we're going to do the basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So what this does is it, it just builds out a sandbox where it has the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then it will render the results right here on the, the right side. So if you do the exclamation point and hit enter, it will fill in the template and we're going to name this Valentine's Day. How about Happy Valentine's Day? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so we're in the body now and we're going to make a div with the class of card. Then let's do div back, div front. And then inside the front div, we're going to do div with heart container. And then inside the heart container, we're going to do div heart. With CSS art, you use a lot of, of divs with different classes so that you can style them. And that's what we're going to do here. And that's about all we need for the divs. But what we want to do is add one last div with the class of text container. And here is where we're going to put the paragraph with an ID of header. And then another paragraph with just whatever you want to say to your loved one or, wh or whoever you're giving this card to. Okay, so mine says life without you is like HTML without CSS. It's dull and boring, just like this card looks right now. Okay, so that's about it for the HTML file, although we can import the, the font that we want to use for our card right now. So let's let's hop over to Chrome or whatever browser you're using. I'm going to fonts.google.com. And then I found Roboto. I like the way that this font looks for this card. So I'm going to select the, the weight and the style of the font that I want. So I will select regular 400 italic and then the bold 700 italic as well. And then I will just copy this, this link tag that they have on the side, jump over to my HTML, and then I'm going to paste that right below, right below the, the title here. Okay, so now we have everything that we need in an HTML file. And now we're going to open up the CSS and we're going to start off by doing colon root. And here's where we're going to declare the variables that we're going to use for the different colors that we want to have in our card. So I'm going to set a border color of this, a background of that, a front background of RGB, 162, 227, 243, a front background darken of RGB 112, 177, and 193, a shadow of RGBA, which the A stands for alpha. It's what opacity, 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 opacity. I don't know. It's how clear we want the, the color to be. So we're going to do 0, 0, 0, 0 0.1 for the shadow. And then for drop shadow, we're going to do the same thing. RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5 for that one. And then the last thing is the text color that we're going to use. And let's do 331717. It's kind of like a very, very dark maroon color. It's not updating because we haven't specified that in the CSS yet, but let's do HTML and body and overflow hidden background color. So this one's just the color of the background that our card is going to be placed on top of. This isn't actually part of the card. And then we're going to do a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Let's do the card. And this is styling the, the first card container up here and actually since we're done with using the HTML I'm going to do that so that it's a little bit bigger and maybe do that make it a little bit easier to see okay and then we're going to do a position relative a width of 425 pixels a height of 300 pixels let's do border of 10 pixels solid var 
dash dash border color and that should add a little pink border for us i think okay there we go we're gonna do margin of 360 pixels auto okay so since we're zoomed in we're going to not do this margin just yet we'll come back to it so we'll we'll comment that out for right now do a box shadow inset of 10 pixels zero pixels 15 not 216 pixels zero pixels var and then this will be the shadow okay so if you saw if you look up here there's a little a slight shadow on the left hand side on the inside and on the very top and then we'll do a background color of var background then let's do card and target the text container inside the the card let's make sure that that's the correct there we go all right text container let's do a width of 80 80 percent a height of 80 percent and a margin oh okay so that'll center it left and right and then we'll do a card text container and header so this is the way to reference an id instead of a class if we want to reference a class in our html we do dot back or dot front but in order to reference an id you do pound header or hashtag header and if you have one after the other it is looking for the text container inside the card so this is looking for the card and then the text container inside the card and then the header inside the text container so here we have the card inside of that is this text container and then inside of that is this id of header it's a way of being more specific and with css the specificity is very important and whatever is more specific overrules everything else so we'll do a font size one point not two point one point five rims and then a margin of 60 pixels auto let's do card p and that's targeting just all the paragraphs inside the card and here is where we can specify the font family of Ro roboto okay then font size 1.1 rem and if you notice this this is only changing the bottom quote even though this is lower in the css document than than this one it's because we're very specific about the header so we don't have to have a class on on this paragraph and it'll still style it correctly so font size 1.1 rem line height 1.4 we'll do color var text and now since since this doesn't have a color attribute up here then this is the next most specific for all of the paragraphs and so it, it styles both font style italic just align center margin 30 pixels auto and we got a typo here okay All right so that is centered and looks good so now we're going to do the card dot front and this is going to be the front part of the flap that that opens up so this will be position absolute width 100 percent height 100 percent margin negative 10 pixels zero pixels zero pixels negative 10 pixels border of 10 pixels solid var dash dash border color and it's just that pink color again and then back face visibility hidden okay and with this back face visibility it'll determine if the back of this container faces us or if the front of it does so with it hidden we're going to see the front of of this container background color of our front background okay background color and then background size is contain we'll do a transform style of preserve 3d so that it makes the 3d motion when we're doing the transformation and then transform dash origin 50 percent and zero percent transform perspective 800 pixels and then we're going to rotate the x-axis zero degrees and i'm sure you're thinking why why rotate it zero degrees we have to have a starting point for the animation that we're going to do and so we're going to say it'll go from zero degrees to 170 and then it'll do everything in between but we have to specify the starting point so that it has something to animate off of so start at zero card hover front and then we're going to do another transform do the perspective 800 pixels again and then rotate x and we'll set this to 170 degrees so now okay so i see what i forgot i didn't add a time frame to this transformation so it's doing it immediately so if we do transition all 0.8 seconds and then do an ease in out it will ease in and out of that animation or of, or of that transformation and then we can zoom out in a little here let me make this a little bit bigger let's now do the margin so that okay well maybe we could just bump this down a little bit let's do 280 and that way when it opens we'll still be able to see everything okay that's the front 
card hover front. So now we need to do card hover back as well. So card hover dot back. We're gonna do transform perspective again, 800 pixels. Okay, we're gonna do 170 degrees again. And then box shadow, zero pixels, 15 pixels. Er, zero pixels, five pixels. 10 pixels and zero pixels. Var shadow again, comma, inset, two pixels, zero pixels, 15 pixels, zero pixels, var shadow. All right, and then we also need to, I guess we kind of did it backwards. We have to do all of this for the back. So let's do card back, do a position absolute. Height is 100%, width is 100%, height is also 100%. Border is still the, the 10 pixels solid var border color. We're gonna do another margin of negative 10 pixels, zero pixels, zero pixels, negative 10 pixels. Back face visibility of visible now. We'll do a filter, drop shadow, two pixels, two pixels, four pixels, var. And here's where we use that drop shadow. All right. Transform style. I think we missed a semicolon here. Yep. Okay. Transform style, another preserve 3D, transform origin, uh, 50 pixels or no, 50%, 0%. Transform perspective 800 pixels, rotate X and then zero degrees. Transition all 0 0.8 seconds, ease in out. Then we'll do a background color of var dash dash background and then a box shadow of zero 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 var shadow. Let's see what that looks like. All right, still a little too zoomed in right now to actually see it and it's cutting it off at the top. So here's where I'm going to change this margin back to the 360 that we had before. All right. And so it opens up and that looks good. All right. So let's do the heart container, a position relative. And before we, we finish the heart container, I'm going to let's do heart and then we're going to do background color of red filter drop shadow zero pixels, zero pixel, five pixels var drop shadow height is hundred pixels. Width is hundred pixels. Margin is going to be zero auto and that should center it then a position absolute which we could put at the top it's usually where those go and then a transform rotate negative 45 degrees okay it's going to be the main part of the heart and then we're going to do dot heart before and dot heart after and whenever you do the before and after you have to put content and then blank so there has to be a content to those attributes in order for it to actually show anything. We're going to do another background color of red and then a border radius of 50%, a height of 100 pixels, a width of 100 pixels, another position absolute. Okay, let's do heart before, top 100 pixels. Okay, so we basically just made a circle and it's right at the center. So it starts at the center and we're moving it out 50 pixels since the height is 100 pixels. And so that makes half of the heart. And then we're going to do the dot heart after and do the same thing. Top is negative 50 pixels. How about 50 pixels? And we'll do left is negative 50 pixels or plus. There we go. Let's do plus. All right. So if we want to center this let's do top 50 percent which is going to make the top of this actually 50 percent down so in order to, to make this work we're going to do a calc function calc 50 percent minus half of what the height is which is 50 pixels and that puts it right in the middle and then we'll do left and do the same thing calc 50 percent which should put it in the middle but it's not so minus half of what the width is and that should be right in the middle okay this looks a little plain so how about we add a couple more parts to this and then i think we should be good to go. So I'm going to copy everything from this. Before I do that, I'm actually going to name this heart one, go back to the index, name this heart one, copy it to this heart two and do this heart three. Okay, save. And now we can copy it, copy it a third time. Nope, let's just copy it once. So it'll be heart two. And they should put it right on top of the last one. So for this one, let's make it 80 pixels should make it a little bit smaller. And now this this 50 pixels will be 40 pixels so that it's half of what the overall height and width are. Let's change this red to like a more pink. That's good. And then if we did top, we can actually move the, the heart around. So we'll do top 25 pixels and then we'll do left. Let's say nine pixels. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's do 11. Seems to be right on the money. And then we will copy heart two one more time. We'll name this heart three. We'll do the same thing. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So instead of 80, maybe do 
like 60. All right, let's change this from 40 to 30 pixels. All right, let's make this a little bit lighter again. It's good. Copy that, paste it here, and then we'll do another. We'll change this top value. Okay, that's good. 49 and then left. Stop right there. Okay, so now you have a working card that says whatever you want. And if you put this on, on GitHub, then you can just direct somebody to this page and it'll show them your, your Valentine's Day card. So I hope you found this useful today. If you did, please leave a comment in the comment section below with a link to your project. If you have any suggestions about future videos that I can make, please leave them in the comments as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.